Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Now in this video I want to talk about top 3 places to visit in Cebu, Philippines. I've traveled to Cebu in January 2024 and I had the most amazing time of my life. And I also want you to have an amazing time when you decide to travel to Cebu, Philippines. Now these three places on my list are all amazing and you cannot go wrong with any of them. But I'm going to rank them in order how I experience them. So let's not waste any more time and start with number 3 on my list, which is Mobile. Mobile is a small town near Badian and has so much to offer. The food scene is simply amazing for such a small town. And if you go there, you have to visit the Shaka Cafe. Pretty much everyone goes to Shaka when they visit Mobile and there is a good reason for that. These are the best fruit shakes you're ever going to taste in your life and they look simply amazing. Pretty close to Mobile, there's another attraction called the White Beach, the main beach of Mobile and it's pretty famous among travelers. Now it takes about 1 hour to get there if you decide to walk or it takes about 10-15 minutes if you decide to take a scooter. I would highly recommend to rent a scooter to get there because when I went there I was walking for about an hour and I got lost and it was an adventure in and of itself. So it was pretty fun but I would recommend renting a scooter to get there. The beach looks beautiful, white sand beaches like you would expect in the Philippines and there's quite a few cafes around so I highly recommend it. But the main attraction of Mobile is swimming with sardines. That's pretty much why this place is so known. Only 20 meters away from the shore you can see millions and millions of sardines every single morning. And the best part is it's completely free. Unless you decide to rent a snorkeling gear for about 200 pesos, which I did, it's not that expensive. But the activity itself, it's free. All you need to do is wake up early in the morning and swim 20 meters away from the shore and you will be surrounded by millions of sardines. Maybe I would not recommend it if you're scared of water because it gets pretty deep even 20 meters away and you're surrounded by millions of sardines so it can be quite scary for some people but for me it was an amazing experience and it almost felt like an out of body experience just surrounded by all these sardines you can't really see anything else and it was simply amazing so that's the main attraction of mobile which leads me to number two on my list and that's Oslo. Oslo is known for a couple of things and that's whale shark swimming and Tumalog Falls. When you get to Oslo you have quite a few options for accommodation but pretty much every hotel, Airbnb and so offer whale shark tours. I checked into my Airbnb and booked the whale shark tour for the next morning and I will highly recommend to start as early as possible. As you can see on this video I was there at 6am and the place was already crowded so I would recommend starting before 6am. Now once you wake up let's say 5am you have to hop on a tuk-tuk and get to the place. You need to sign some paperwork and then just wait for your number to be called. As I said, the place gets really crowded, especially after 6 a.m. There's like hundreds and hundreds of people around you. And it can be quite annoying for some people, but it's understandable because this is the main attraction of Oslo. But once you get your life vest and hop on a boat, you're ready to get out to the sea. And you can pretty much see these animals from far away and it's an incredible experience. You just, you can see how huge they are, but you don't get the full picture. Once you stop where all the other boats are, you jump into the water and then you can see how big these animals are. These whale sharks are easily like, I don't know, 10 meters long. I felt so small next to them and it was quite an amazing experience. I've never seen anything like that in my life. To be honest, I was quite scared at first when I looked under the water and I saw how big they are and I would highly, highly recommend it. Even if you decide not to jump into the water, you can still see them from the surface. So if you're scared of the water, you don't have to jump in and you're gonna still have an amazing experience. But this one is a bit controversial because these sharks are being fed. So some people have a problem with that and I had a problem with that as well, but I was a bit of a hypocrite because I still did it. But I just want to let you know that these sharks are being fed, so, no, so they're not there in the wild. They're pretty much attracted by the food. Just keep that in mind. But after the whale shark tours, you will hop on a tuk-tuk and go to Tumalog Falls. After my tuk-tuk ride, I had to change two different scooters just to get to the top of this mountain. And it was quite an amazing experience. I didn't expect two scooters one after the other. But once you get there, you will see Tumalog Falls, the cherry on top. This is an amazing end to your tour and I highly recommend spending some time there because it's just a beautiful scenery around you. And that leads me to number one on my list, which is Badian Canyoneering. Badian is a small town like every other town on this list, but it has so much to offer. Every single hotel and accommodation in this town offers Badian Canyoneering tours, like same thing as in Oslo. So I booked this hotel in the middle of Badian, and the next morning my tour guide picked me up on a scooter and he drove me to the meeting spot where I had to sign some papers and get my life vest, helmet and all those things. 
and then we were loaded onto this truck which was quite unexpected and he drove us to the meeting spot where we had to sign some papers again listen to some safety briefings and then we were ready to start once you start you have two options to get to the canyon you can walk for about 45 minutes or you can take the zip line and of course i chose the zip line the price was about 600 pesos which was not included in the price of the tour which was 2300 pesos so all in all it was around 3000 pesos for the whole tour but of course i chose the zip line because it's quite a fun experience and instead of 45 minutes of walking you get there in about two minutes it was pretty fast once you're done with the zip line you have to walk for a few minutes to the start of the canyon and that's where the fun begins the water in this canyon is so blue it almost looks like a gatorade factory it's unbelievable and the vibe of this place is amazing everyone is happy and positive the tour guides are trying to make the best experience possible they're taking videos of you and smiling and making jokes the vibe was simply amazing the best day of my life and the best part about this tour is cliff jumping you have several jumping spots from four five seven eight and ten meters and i did every single one of them if you're scared of cliff jumping you don't have to jump the only mandatory jump is the first one which is a four meter jump so it's not that bad but you can pretty much skip every other jumps if you decide to do so but if you are a bit of a adrenaline junkie like i am you have to do every single jump because it's simply amazing your heart will be racing like mine was the water is so blue it's just a magical experience you do have a small stuff for lunch in the middle of the canyon where they have barbecue that was a bit unexpected i don't have a video of it unfortunately but in the middle of the canyon there was these people doing barbecues and it was quite a fun experience but once you're done with all the cliff jumping and you do the last jump which is the 10 meter jump the scariest one on this list honestly that 10 meter jump felt like a 15 meter jump i was quite scared but it was fun you will get to the Kavasan Falls. Kavasan Falls is the cherry on top and I recommend spending some time here because the waterfall is beautiful. You can swim in the water, you can jump off a rope into the water, you can do whatever you want. After the tour you will get back onto the truck and go for some lunch again which is included in this tour and that's pretty much the end of it. The whole tour lasts about five to six hours and you will not regret it. It's worth every single dollar you spend. All three of these places are pretty close to each other and I recommend doing all three of them if you have a few days in Cebu. What I did and what I recommend is going from Cebu to Oslo to do the whale shark swimming and to Molok Falls. After Oslo it only takes about two hours to get to Badian where you will do the Badian canyoneering. And the best part is from Badian to Mobo where you see the sardines, it's only about 20 minute bus ride, so it's really not that bad. So I highly recommend it, going from Cebu to Oslo to Badian to Mobo and back to Cebu. The whole trip should take about, let's say four or five days. So if you only have a few days in Cebu, I highly recommend doing this trip. And that's it for me. I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one.